What's going on, people? Well, I just wanted to do a little update. I got my little mini solar system going. So what I did is uh, it's running off uh, solar right now. Uh, this is kind of not legit at the moment until I get something figured out because I got it back feeding into the this outlet here. But eventually I'll figure out the proper way to do it. But anyway, I got myself a uh, Victron Smart Solar uh, 100 slash 50 MPPT and a G and Dell 1200 watt inverter. I got the breaker going to the batteries. One battery, a uh, 12 volt battery for now. They're a little long. I might tweak this a little bit more. And then I got the shut off for the solar panels, which comes through this breaker here. So I got a shelf there. I got to still put one outside on the panels themselves. But I dug, I mean, uh, drilled through here last night and like an idiot, I hooked this up backwards last night on the, this inverter and had a big spark and then figured out it didn't work after that. And so I figured out that it has fuses in there and I uh, called tech support and they said, I'll oh, just pull out the, the fuses and replace them. So I did that today and now it's working again. I don't know if you can see that there, it's good. Did you read up? Tells me how many volts I got. And that shows if it's in bulk mode, absorption afloat. So, anyway, that's just a 112 volt battery, marine battery for now, Walmart special. Um, that's just to, you know, figure it out, get it started. I'll eventually get a better battery and then eventually the long term plan is to uh, get a 48 volt system but I had this stuff already a couple panels in that charge controller so I figured I'll use it for now um, until I can afford a bigger system and I can always reuse the panels and the, and the solar wire so I got a couple here um i got two right now this third one is just a spare that it had a, some damage on it um and i kind of repaired it and i got voltage out of it and me and my brother tried out so it might work but i got these two in in series and then eventually it gives me about 80 something 86 watts or something yeah, so I got, uh, you can see here, got them in series. I'm sure the angle's not right, but it was just a quick job I did last night. I'll tweak it some more next few days here and figure out the proper um, proper angle to get the best light. And, but I got almost 200 watts today, even just throwing them out here. Around noontime, I looked at the the graph so if i had them probably angled better they'd probably get more but that's that's 200 and 200 so i got half of the capacity and who knows i probably get some some trees making some shadows and shade and all that good stuff but it's free power and uh you know just learning so so i got the, <clears throat> the wire going right here and kind of ran it up underneath the cabin Uh, and it kind of goes up here, and you can see it go under the house. Let me uh, see if we can get some light on that. But yeah, it goes up underneath the house there. I drilled that last night in the dark. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's the start. I got my generator here for for backup purposes. So I got power for now. And the nice thing is if I just want to run some lights at night, um, you know, I don't have to fire up the generator because this is not going to use too much just to run these LED lights for a little bit at night. And then the next day it'll charge up on the uh, solar panel. Looks like it was fully charged just uh, even getting... Um, 
less than 200 watts all day long. Charged that up to full. I think it was like half, about 50% last night. So not bad. Anyway, once I get all four panels going, it'll uh, it'll be a little bit, a little bit better. I have 800 watts, and maybe I'll get four, almost 400. So anyway, that's uh, that's the update for now. In my little mini solar system. Alrighty, over and out.